A push to make military helicopter training safer. It comes just weeks after nine soldiers died when two Black Hawk helicopters collided near Fort Campbell, Kentucky. 7 News reporter Lexi Bruning live tonight to tell us more about these safety recommendations. Lexi? Jeff, they come from U.S. Senator Charles Schumer, who revealed today the results of an investigation he called for more than two years ago. My son would have retired this year. His little son is five years old. And that was his goal to retire this year. But Christian Koch never met that goal. The chief warrant officer with the New York National Guard died in a military helicopter crash near Rochester in January 2021. An investigation would later reveal the Black Hawk helicopter crashed due to a, quote, procedural error during an emergency training maneuver. In the immediate aftermath of that crash, Schumer called for an investigation and on Wednesday revealed what it said. The investigation looked at 298 crashes between 2012 and 2021. It found 90 percent of the Army National Guard's incidents were caused by human error. Let's remember that many of these devastating crashes are preventable and these safety reforms are the first step to making sure that our pilots are well prepared in every flight. Among those safety reforms, ensuring pilots receive the required training hours established by the Army and Air National Guard. Schumer says pilots are not meeting this goal in part because of a lack of access to flight simulators. And while the 90% human error statistic focused on Army National Guard crashes, Black Hawk crashes also have happened within active duty U.S. Army. A few weeks ago, nine soldiers died after two Black Hawk helicopters collided near Fort Campbell, Kentucky. And closer to home, Fort Drum recently honored 11 soldiers who died when a Black Hawk crashed on post in 2003. Schumer is asking the Secretary of the Army and Secretary of the Air Force to implement the safety recommendations in the report and adds more flight simulators are needed, saying the Rochester Training Center does not have a flight simulator. Jeff. Lexi Bruning live tonight. Thank you.